That just score in the Ted Constant Convocation Center. Mount St. Mary's Mountaineers have come off the mount for a matchup with ODU and Norfolk. Welcome to the ASN studio. I'm Ashley. Thanks for sticking with us during halftime. The Monarchs have been playing well this season, receiving votes in both the AP and the coaches poll for a top 25 spot. Old Dominion looks like they're ready to start conference play, which will begin for them on Sunday. Tonight's matchup is the final non-conference game for the Monarchs and the Mountaineers. This isn't the only matchup we have on ASN this week. Tuesday night, Harvard goes to Phoenix. The Crimson is not the only top-notch team that the Lopes have paired up against this season. Dan Marley and his team opened their season by playing at Kentucky and Indiana on the road, then hosted New Mexico. Tomorrow, the Lopes welcome Harvard to Phoenix. We take a break Wednesday night and Thursday night. Then we come back with our first Conference USA matchup. UTEP goes to Denton to play North Texas. Coming into the season, the Miners were predicted to finish third overall in the conference, and the Mean Green was picked to land in the middle of the pack. Saturday, ASN has two games on the schedule, starting at three. Wofford goes to Homewood, Alabama to play Samford. Then at four, St. Bonaventure is at UMass. Check your local listings for the game in your area. For a full schedule of our games on ASN, go to our website, americansportsnet.com. Also, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Our handle's live on ASN. Coming up, we do our own picks, ASN's top five quarterbacks, and it turns out these guys are also a few of the best that FBS and FCS had to offer. Welcome back to the ASN studio. One nearly upset the three-time defending FCS champion. One's a Sammy Ball Award winner and led the nation in touchdowns and yards. One holds the college football record for most consecutive games with a touchdown pass. Another finished fourth in voting for the Walter Payton Award, and one is the winner of the Walter Payton Award. It's our top five quarterbacks from our ASN conferences. We look at the offensive lineup. Of course, we've talked about the five outstanding quarterback, and he's the one that makes it go. And he is a guy, though, that I look at that he showed the poise that he needed to. I mean, he's an excellent quarterback for any level. A lot of offense here in Conway, of course, that's not unusual when you're talking about the Shauna Clears. Alex Ross rifles one deep. He catches the rainbow. Alex Ross, heck of a game. Boy, when you look at John Robertson, Ross, you're looking at a guy who is a true dual threat. He'll run as much as he'll throw it. What I really like about watching Robertson is just he always looks like he's under control. He just does a good job of just managing the game. He is just crushing the record books right now. So there's Vad Lee a year ago running the option for Georgia Tech and now the first quarterback here in James Madison history to go over 3,000 yards. Yeah, he's had a fantastic year and when he gets out of the pocket, that's where he does his best work. How about Western Kentucky and Brandon Doughty, their quarterback? His stats are eye-popping. Well, you know what? Brandon Doughty has gaudy numbers, and it's as advertised. Sometimes it's premeditated. Sometimes he has to do a little bit of ad-libbing. This guy's a special talent. And there is Rakeem Cato, the 6'1 senior out of Miami, Florida, the preseason player of the year. And boy, has he flourished. Well, what boys there by Cato, just the perfect throw and catch, and uh, that's just uh, something you can't coach. Cato keeps it right up the middle. It's a foot race. Touchdown, Marshall. Congrats to John Robertson, Brandon Dowdy, Vad Lee, Alex Ross, and Rakeem Cato. Cato and Dowdy will be moving on from college football after this season, but the other three are just juniors, which means we have some elite signal callers coming back to play on ASN in 2015. That's all we have for halftime. We'll take you back out to Norfolk for the rest of this game between the Mountaineers and the Monarchs after this. <laughs> 